Hey guys welcome to a new video, like comment and subscribe if you enjoy. Without any further interruptions, enjoy the what if. Chapter 23 Breaking the Chains of Destiny Konoha Konoha's Main Event Stadium, 10 AM Now that I've explained the rules, would Hayuga Hanada, Sabaku no Kenkiro and Hayuga Neji step forward, announced Genma in his chakra-enhanced booming voice, reverberating through full-packed arena. Up there in the topmost balcony were the sitting forms of the Hokage, Mizukage, Rakage and the Kaze Cage, all of them wearing formal robes. Behind the shadow leaders of their respective villages, stood their escorts, or rather bodyguards of the sorts. Behind Hiruzen stood two Anbu whereas Chojiro and Ao were standing behind Mei. The Rakage having a smirk on his face, excited to see some action had Karabi's team along with Darui, his right-hand man behind him. Although smiling, May had an irritated look on her face as she shuffled in her seat to get comfortable. I always hated this formal wear, makes me feel like an old hag, she thought with an annoyed expression but smiled upon seeing Naruto's battle-ready form down there, standing among the eleven other genins to be competing today. The arena was filled with cheers and loud shouts of encouragement, several bets were being put on the competing contestants, Overall it was quite a big event for Konoha which was now flooded with several merchants, mission seekers, buyers and shinobi from around the world. Meanwhile we find the rookie nine except the ones competing sitting together, which were actually only three in number with Sakura, Ino and Shino cheering alongside the excited civilians, though the bug user had his own quiet way of showing support. Several rows behind them were the sitting forms of Kakashi, Kurenai, Gai, Anko, Hana, Yugao and Kashina. Kashina Sama, it's most youthful of you to join US, yelled Guy as he gave a thumbs while flashing his thousand times brushed teeth, making the Junins around him blink their eyes as if they were hit by a solar flare, DBZ. Kakashi and others though were surprised, mainly because people sitting in the stands were being loud and for once, Guy's voice sounded normal to them. Huh, you said something Guy, said Kashina in confusion making the green-clad shinobi fell face first on the concrete step while the ice queens minus Yugao began to laugh their asses off, their sounds mixing with the loud cheering in the arena. Kashina-sama, how could you do this to me? yelled Guy as he cried anime tears while Kashina just looked at him in utmost confusion. Do I look that cool every time I do that? thought Kakashi with a thumb under his chin whereas Anko now was patting Guy in understanding fits of laughter still escaping her hand-covered mouth making Guy's eyebrows twitch while Kashina just looked at them like they were crazy. I don't understand, what's there to laugh? She asked innocently while tilting her head, further making them burst in laughter much to Guy's ire as he just settled to keep quiet, just this once. Shrugging her shoulders, the fiery cage turned her head to see Naruto standing there proudly with a smile on his face. He looks so handsome today, makes me just want to, no no. Bad Kashina, you're not a pervert, that Jiraiya, training with him has affected me too, she thought with a blush, wiping a bit of nosebleed making Yugao sweat drop as she saw Kashina's dreamy expression. Must be thinking of Naruto-kun, dot who else can induce that from her, thought the Kenjutsu mistress with a sigh. The Ice Queens had come to know or rather, their suspicions were confirmed regarding their romantic relationship when Naruto had himself told them, a lot nervously though for he was scared of their reactions. Though much to our blonde Jinchuriki's surprise, they had just said that they knew with a smile and that they had no problem with it. The sweet result they got was a tight teary hug from their favorite knucklehead, especially when it came to women, and a kiss to their cheeks. Meanwhile, down there we find the twelve contestants standing in front of the proctor who strangely was chewing on a sanban, well, that's what it looked like. In front of him stood Tamari, Kenkiro, Gara whose gourd looked to be smaller than before and of a darker shade, Kin, Kiba with his partner Akamaru, Shikamaru who was muttering curses about everything being a drag, Lee who was doing push-ups while flashing his teeth like an idiot, Neji who had a stoic expression on his face, his eyes full of hate and anger as he clenched his fists, Hinata who was standing besides our last contestant Naruto with both having smiles on their faces. Here Hinata was wearing a dark blue top which was hugging her hourglass figure, accentuating her early blooming curves and c-cups followed by a tight black trouser giving definition to her shapely legs. She had long hair which were reaching past her shoulder blades, having grown several inches this past month while two bangs of her dark blue shiny hair were framing her heart-shaped beautiful face. Coming down, she was wearing a locket which Hiyashi had given her, 
saying that her mother wanted her to wear it. It was a royal shade of metallic blue color which could be opened to see her mother's picture, something she cherished with all of her heart, well other than a certain blonde one of course. Tied to her thighs were typical kanai and shuriken holsters with black elbow bands on her both arms, her pearl lavender eyes overflowing with determination. Overall, she was looking quite beautiful and physical appealing while emanating an aura of a kunoichi who could not be taken lightly. Next to her was standing the smiling form of Naruto, who was looking around himself in what could be described as in a state of awe. Almost all of the young and mature females alike in the arena had blushed upon seeing him while some of the people were cheering for him too, something which he was not used to. He was wearing a black Konoha flak jacket under which was a dark blue sweatshirt. Over the jacket, he had his typical white trench coat with black flames arising from its hem while on the back, the trench coat had the same white colored Uzumaki swirling sign whose background was a black flame, its tendrils almost reaching the high collar of the trench coat. This time the hit I ate was wrapped around his forehead while he was wearing dark blue shinobi pants with the same kanai and shuriken holsters. Around the waist, he was wearing a black utility belt containing several scrolls and coming down, he was wearing black shinobi sandals above which were white wrappings on his shin. Whoa! Dot you see this Hinata-chan, I never thought so many people would come to see the finals, said Naruto with amazement on his face as he looked around the stadium its rows looking colorful because of different clothes due to seeing this far away. Yeah, it really is amazing, said Hinata with a smile, who had strangely grown taller a few inches in just a month and almost equaling Neji's height. I repeat again, would Hayuga Hinata and Sabaku no Kenkuro step forward, again said Genma, his chakra-enhanced voice booming through the arena as the rowdy crowd's cheers went down to concentrate on the coming matches. Um, why yes? said Hinata with an embarrassed blush for not listening early while Neji had already stepped towards the Sanban chewing proctor, scoffing at her. Hurriedly going to stand in front of Genma, everyone's eyes widened except a few at what they heard next. Proctor, I forfeit, said Kenkuro with a serious expression while Genma just blinked at him. What? He said again to make sure what he heard was right as the arena went deathly silent. I said I forfeit the match said the puppet user while the other contestants except Gara and Tamari kept staring at him wide eyes whereas Naruto couldn't shake this feeling of dread that was tingling his mind since yesterday. Are you sure Gaki? In front of all these people? Dot are you absolutely sure? said Genma after composing before Kankuro just nodded, a stoic expression on his face. I've already fought that Hyuga heiress before and for a fact I'm a long-range fighter. I know that I wouldn't be able to handle two Hyugas, explained Kenkuro making the proctor sigh. Nicely done Kenkuro, thought Baki with a smirk who was standing in one of the balconies above with other Junins. It seems that Sabaku no Kenkuro has decided to forfeit the match, so it lefts us with Hyuga Hinata and Hyuga Neji, said Genma in his loud voice as the crowd erupted in, boost for the puppet user. C-O-W-A-R-D, you pansy, why even bother coming here then? Shouts came from random people while Kankuro's eyes began to twitch as he along with other remaining contestants started to go back to the balcony. I'm gonna kill Baki Sensei, thought the puppet user as he continued to walk while dodging several thrown footwear and cans. Yeah, go away, clowns can't be ninja anyway. A vein popped on Kankuro's forehead while he could hear the snickers of the other contestants alongside him, even Tamari was quietly snickering to herself. Hey Khan Kuro you fella there, I have vacancy in a local circus here, want a job? Another shout came as began people began to laugh, even the ice queens and Kashina began to laugh while Naruto too wasn't left behind. Yeah, I'll kill him very painfully. Dot our mission be damned, thought Kankuro whose eyebrows were twitching dangerously as they neared the stands to climb to the balcony before everyone heard something from the female cheerleaders there that sent them rolling in laughter. K-A-N-K-U-R-O-U. K-A-N-K-U-R-O-U is a sissy. He can't even beat a Hyuga missy. Woo! Chorused the colorful females together before the arena exploded into laughter as Mei too couldn't hold it in and burst out laughing while holding her hand up. Oh, ahahaha. S sorry case cage dono. Ahahaha. B but that's really funny. Ahaha. She continued to laugh while others too were barely in control of themselves. Ah, no worries Mizukage Dono, it's nice to have an entertaining crowd for once, 
said the case cage whose lower face was covered by a white cloth. Though, that was funny indeed, Kukuku, thought our familiar case cage. Oh man, ahahaha, this is gold, come on everyone, let's say it one more time, shouted Anko with laughing tears in her eyes while people around her nodded enthusiastically with Kashina giggling to herself. One, two, together, Kon Kur O U Kon Kur O U is a sissy. He can't even beat a Hyuga Missy W H O O O O O O O O O O, yelled almost every boy in the stadium as Naruto too had joined in while May's laughter got louder with Hiruzen chuckling to herself. Hey, that was a good rap yo, Enka, who said that? Meanwhile Tamari too burst out laughing while Kankiro was having an anger attack there, barely controlling himself, he wanted to crush someone. Anyone would do while the popped vein on his forehead was about to burst as Temuri's fits of laughter got louder. Shut up Tamari, he shouted comically, his face enlarging like the big head no jutsu as Tamari just started to laugh harder while rolling on the ground. Baka Kankiro, mother too is laughing at you, thought Gara in one his rare moments of extraordinary insanity. All right now, enough with the jokes. Daughter Hayuga Hanada and Hayuga Neji ready said Genma as he jumped back a bit while Hanada and Neji turned towards each other, both having serious expressions on their faces. Breathing deeply, Hanada slowly shifted into her Jukan stance while Neji just stood there, gritting his teeth as glared at Hanada with as much hate as he could muster. I'm gonna crush you today Hanada, just by activating something new doesn't mean you're anything better than before, he spat hatefully, angered that his only thing left was taken away from him. Dot his pride, Pride at being the Hyuga prodigy, pride at being a prodigy that not even the genins of the main branch family could hope to surpass. I don't know why are you acting like this Nisan. Dot but I'm not the same as before, said Hinata as she hardened her expression before activating her primitive Byakugan without doing any hand seals, with Neji doing the same as he too slipped into the Jukan stance. I'm gonna show you that a branch member can be stronger than the main branch family. Dot you Hinata, always cheerful always smiling like nothing is happening around you while we, we people are treated like trash, bound for the rest of our lives to serve you. It makes me sick, you were fated to be a failure and that's, your destiny, he said before spitting on the ground hatefully while Hanada just nodded towards the proctor, her eyes becoming cold before narrowing them. I'll show you Nisan, I'm not weak as before, she thought as Genma brought down his hand while the crowd watched silently, the fight between the two Hyuga prodigies beginning. H-A-J-I-M-E. Wasting no time, Neji immediately dashed towards Hanada as fast as he could, his eyes raging with anger while Hanada stood there motionlessly. His speed, it has increased tremendously. Guy, thought Kakashi with widened eyes as he turned towards Guy to see him staring down with a serious expression on his face. Reaching her he unleashed a flurry of Jukan strikes while Hanada began to dodge them with speed surprising even Neji his eyes widening as she fluently dodged each of his palm thrusts, her cold eyes never leaving him while he noticed that she was not fighting him back. Dot but rather was only interested in dogging his blows angering him further. Fight me you weakling! yelled Neji as he went for a kick at her midsection which she grabbed before going for a palm thrust at his thigh making his eyes widen. Grabbing her attacking wrist with amazing accuracy and speed, he lifted his other foot and placed it on Hinata's collarbone area and used it as a springboard to flip back in midair while Hinata stumbled back, a bit of surprise on her face as she again regained her position while Neji landed several feet away from her, still glaring at her. I see you've improved drastically Nisan, said Hinata seriously. Don't act like you were stronger than me before Hinata. Dot but no matter. I'll show you your place today he said as he again blurred out of the civilian's sight with an impressive speed burst for a genin while Hinata just followed his invisible figure, her head moving as she could see his blurry form. He really has improved. Dot his speed is really something. I bet it was Guy Sensei, thought Naruto with a calm expression as he watched closely. Turning her head to follow his movements, she could see that he was trying to confuse her by producing after images as dirt started to pick up around her. There, she exclaimed before throwing Kanai behind her, able to see him because of her 360 degree vision before the Kanai just bounced off. Blurring herself out of the civilian's sight, she catched the rebounded Kanai before ducking down at amazing speeds for everyone to see Neji's fist where her head was just for a second before both of them vanished from the civilian's sights, 
dust blowing around because of their fast movements as they both continued to throw unrestrained strikes at each other, neither of them holding back. The only thing that the untrained eyes of the villagers could see was sparks of blue charka being expelled in midair in random directions because of the palm thrusts. Almost all of the people with shinobi alike were in states of awe and astonishment, never having seen two Hyuga genins fight each other with such speeds. Dot the level of the match was way above than they had expected. That's really impressive, said Mei with surprise, never having seen two Hyugas go at it while to say the truth. Hiruzen was himself surprised, not interested in lighting his pipe anymore. The rakage had this excited gleam in his eyes, for he was getting what he enjoyed the most, hardcore taijutsu. Guy. Dot did you actually put that neji kid through all those crazy training sessions of yours? Asked Hana incredibly while the taijutsu master just nodded seriously. Neji is my student. He wanted to get stronger. Dot his personal reasons aside, it was my duty as a sensei to help him, though it was difficult for him to endure all that, but he had that drive, that motivation this time that I always saw in Lee. Dot the desire of wanting to prove yourself, said Guy, for once serious about something while Kashina looked at the match with interest. That Neji kid, he's good. I know Hanata-chan is strong. Dot but he's matching her toe to toe, that kid really is a prodigy, thought Kashina as she followed their movements easily. Meanwhile Neji was getting angrier, she was matching him blow to blow, matching his speed which he had trained so hard to achieve over the past month. How can she follow my speed? Dot she was nowhere as fast as this a month ago, he thought with gritted teeth before both of them flipped back to land graciously on their feet, looking at each other dead seriously. Meanwhile the crowd was stunned into silence as they watched the glaring contest between these two. Dot not even looking even a slight bit winded though Naruto had a proud smile on his face. Finally those hours of sparring with Hinata and giving her gravity seals are producing results, he thought as he gazed upon the match, where dust had surrounded the two contestants making them somewhat invisible to the people there. Hum, very clever, Hinata-chan, thought Kashina after deactivating her Sharingan. I didn't want to use those techniques so soon. Dot but I guess now is the time. Dot and she has yet to use the second level, thought Neji before a smirk formed on his face while dust blew away with the wind to reveal both of them. Putting her hand in her holster, Hinata threw several shuriken one after another in quick succession at Neji who just smirked at the pitiful direct attack. Fluently and easily dogging the kanai one after another, he drew out his own kanai as he began to deflect them with impressive speed and accuracy. Though his eyes widened in immense surprise when one of the incoming shuriken trajectories puffed into smoke to reveal Hanada in midair who was coming at him at high speeds, her eyes cold as she stared deep into his widened pupils. What? Dot but the real one is. Dot two chakra systems, Cage Bunshin, he finally came to a stunned realization as she rocketed towards him. Though what made everyone's jaws drop was when she started spinning in midair expelling blue chakra from her body as it started to rotate around her rocketing form. That, impossible, thought a random Hyuga elder who was sitting with Hiyashi, the latter having a proud smirk on his face. Meanwhile Neji's eyes widened considerably as he grit his teeth in concentration. Have to use it now, if I'm hit with that, he let his thoughts linger as he too started to rotate extremely fast, expelling chakra from his body parts just like Hinata forming a sphere around himself. From a random villager's sight, a giant blue sphere flew at blinding speeds towards another sphere before they both crashed, each of them yelling the name of the technique. Hakusho Kaden, eight divination palms of the hand, heavenly spin, they yelled in unison as a loud explosion shook the arena, forming a large crater in the middle as cracks appeared on the ground with dust and wind flowing like a tornado around the two spheres which were now fighting for dominance. Though, it was becoming clear that Hinata was having the upper hand. That bitch, she's using the gravity to her advantage, thought Neji with gritted teeth as he pumped more chakra into the technique while the chakra spheres looked as if they were mixing with each other, their shape mingling before they started to vibrate around their centers, becoming unstable. Boom, another explosion, this time more devastating than the last one came rocketing outwards in the form of an invisible shockwave which reverberated through the arena, people struggling to remain in their seats. Past the explosion, Genma jumped towards the area which was now covered in dust revolving around the point of impact, hindering everyone's vision. No one dared to speak as they watched with bated breath, waiting for this frustrating smokescreen to vanish. 
Hanada-chan, thought Naruto with a hint of worry in his eyes. Slowly the dust screen cleared, unveiling two standing forms much to the shock of everybody. They're still standing, thought a random civilian matching the thoughts of hundreds of others there. Wow Nibi, I have to say I'm impressed, their level of skill is easily chunin, said Yugito inwardly with an odd expression on her face, who was sitting with B, who himself was watching the match seriously, a rare feat. Indeed kitten. Dot the Hyuga clan though was always full of geniuses and prodigies as far as I remember, replied Nibi while Yugito was staring at the two prodigy Hyugas, one having several bruises with clothes tattered at several places while the other was completely unharmed, much to the shock of everyone. That insolent, it was the cage bunshin who attacked me while the real was standing behind, enjoying the show, thought Neji with gritted teeth as he remembered Hinata puffing into smoke just a second before the explosion had taken place. He was panting a bit, blood seeping down his lips while his jacket was torn in several places as he glared hatefully at Hinata who was looking back at him, completely unharmed, her eyes cold. That explosion. Dot the mixture of Kaden and Cage Bunshin, it could be used as an exploding shadow clone, much deadlier than the one Itachi Sensei created, thought Naruto with a serious expression on his face when he noticed that Ayum was asleep right now while the other contestants were watching the match in trance-like states. Oh man, this is such a drag. Dot why does everyone I know has to be a prodigy, muttered Shikamaru with a sigh while Naruto smirked at the lazy Nara, shaking his head at his antics. Now you see me San, earlier I couldn't even lift a finger against you, earlier I was a quivering piece of shit just being in your presence. Look at me now, today going toe to toe with you, was this written in your book of destiny, a prodigy like you to be beaten by a failure like me. Is it just destiny or an error of coincidence in your perfect book? said Hinata as she stood still, her eyes cold as ice. Shut up! Just shut up! yelled Neji as he clenched his fists, his rage rising through the roofs while Hinata gained a soft expression on her face as she stared at him. You don't know what it feels like to be branded with a mark that sets you apart for the rest of your life. Dot you, a Hyuga heiress who took everything for granted who was given everything on a silver platter just because my father was born a few minutes late. He was forced to serve the main branch, forced to give away his life just because of the actions of your father. He spat with hatred, his voice trembling with rage, hatred and frustration as he wiped the blood off his chin while Hanada narrowed her eyes at him. Then what do you want Nisan? Do you wish that Uncle Hazashi was born first? So that my father's life would have been taken instead? so that I was the one standing in place of you, speaking those words to you. Are you that selfish Nisan? You yourself said that destiny can't be changed. Dot but then why are you yourself fighting it back? Isn't it the destiny of a branch family member to forever serve the main household? If destiny can't be changed, then why do you even try? Why don't you just accept it? Dot are you a hypocrite? She said making his eyes widen as he listened to her in stunned silence. I may not know your pain. Dot but I do know the pain of losing my mother. I do know the pain of being blamed and scorned for something which I just couldn't do no matter how hard I tried. Everybody has his own problems Nisan whether they be emotional, physical, social or financial. Dot you can't just blame on the others and just sit back and accept your destiny, that's the work of a coward. Just take example of Naruto kun, he. Don't talk about him, that guy knows nothing about pain always wearing that disgraceful smile of his, not having a care in the world. He too was offered everything on a silver platter just like the Uchiha. Trained by Jiraiya the Sanin, Hitaki Kakashi and Uzumaki Kashina herself, even the dead last could become a prodigy. He knows nothing about what it feels like to be glared down, to be treated differently just because of something which was done without your consent at birth, he's just a royal idiot following his delusional dream of becoming Hokage said Neji as he scoffed at the mention of Uzumaki while the temperature dropped several degrees in the area as he finished his sentence. You, Nisan, said Hinata as her eyes became shadowed, her chakra rising while Neji quickly dashed towards her at blurry speeds, channeling more than usual chakra through his palm, making it concentrated which started to glow blue faintly. Why isn't she moving? said Kurinai alarmingly worried for her student while Kashina was staring intently at the match, a smirk etched on her face. Hake Hasanjiki, eight divination signs. Destructive mountain fist yelled Neji just as he was about to reach Hinata who was strangely standing, as if waiting for him. 
Finally reaching her, he thrusted his chakra concentrated palm in her gut, sending waves of invisible chakra behind her due to the impact while she had grabbed his hand which was embedded in her gut, blood seeping down her lips as she coughed, still not lifting her head. By Kami, that technique. Dot who could have taught him. Neji, thought Hiyashi with his mouth wide open in surprise while Hanabi too, who was sitting besides her father, was watching the match in fascination. Matches over Hanada. Dot you can't recover from this attack, cause this one directly attacks the core of your chakra system, said Neji with a smirk as they remained in the position while Hanada lifted her face, a cold smirk on her face sending chills down his spine. Surprise Ni San, she said with a way too sweet smile making Neji's eyebrows lift in surprise and confusion as he further embedded his palm in her gut, twisting his hand as he grit his teeth in anger. Just accept your defeat you pathetic failure. Your destiny. Puff. His eyes widened when something puffed just beneath him. Wham. The next thing he knew, he was lifted into air, courtesy of a chakra-enhanced right hook by an enraged Hanada to his jaw, blood spitting out of his mouth as he went flying back. Thud. He fell on the dirt ground as he skidded a bit due to the force of the impact and his momentum. A Hayuga. Hunched. Thought Mei with a stunned expression on her face, matching the thoughts of every person in the stadium except Hanada herself. Meanwhile Rakage had a large grin on his face while his hands were trembling with excitement. I'm starting to like this girl more and more, thought Kashina with a smile while the Ice Queens, Kakashi and Guy were having trouble picking up their jaws. It wasn't just any soft hook by a soft looking girl, it had some serious power behind it, enhanced by chakra. But still, Neji's endurance has greatly increased as compared to a month ago, thought Guy with a serious expression on his face while you could hear several shouts from all over the stands. Oh W, that's gotta hurt, that boy just got nailed, and through the air he sailed. Woo, is she an apprentice of Rocky Balboa, lol. Neji, thought Tenton in worry as she gazed upon her injured teammate who was slowly getting up while struggling. Neji, getting up noticed that the two Hanadas were still standing, dot one injured and the other completely unharmed. HN, idiot, just for that punch, she took my attack head on so that her shadow clone could have a go at me, he thought as he now stood, his knees trembling a bit, blood seeping down his jaw which he knew was cracked or most probably broken, his clothes now completely ragged as he panted a bit. Your endurance, it has improved tremendously Nissan, said the injured Hanada, who was panting a bit while holding her stomach whereas Neji just ignored her. All right. Dot she too is injured and most probably can't use her chakra due to Hake Hasanjiki. Dot and I have to finish it now and conserve chakra for later matches, he thought, not too far away from her before slipping into a strange stance which Hiyashi and Hinata recognized immediately. No way, it can't be, he's learned that technique too, incredible, thought Hiyashi in amazement while Neji smirked at the startled expression on her face. That boy, he's still not getting it. Dot but to know that technique at this age is truly an amazing accomplishment, thought Kashina with an amused smirk. I know that you learned this technique too. Dot but unfortunately for you Hanada, you can't use chakra right now, he said with a cocky smirk as he bent his head down forward, his one arm in front of him pointing towards the ground while his other arm behind him, just above his shoulder, his legs wide apart. Well, I did see him perform that technique in the preliminaries thought Hanada with a calm expression on her face as still, both of them were standing, wind blowing across the battle arena, their hair flowing with the breeze. You're in the field of my divination, said Neji as he started to concentrate his chakra, one thing still nagging his mind since the match had started. Why didn't she use the second level when she had the chance? Hake Rokujiyansho, 8 Divination Signs, 64 palms of the hand he yelled before dashing towards her at blinding speeds, chakra souring at the base of his feet, his eyes widening in his mad dash when she, the one who was standing unharmed, adopted the same stance he did a few seconds ago while the one holding her stomach stood behind, coughing some more blood. Foolish, dot her injuries are too great to even perform that technique, dot and her shadown clone can't perform that technique effectively as the original one can, oh well, let the failure try, like always, her efforts would be fruitless, he thought with a sneer as she too dashed at him with equal speed, if not more than him. By Kami, these children are truly something, having such skills at such young age, now I see why Konoha is the strongest of the elemental nations,
thought Yugito as she watched the two Hyugas blur towards each other, unseen to the civilian crowd, the only thing they could see was dust being elevated due to their movements. Both of them reared their right arms, their palms flaring with chakra as they began their strikes. Two palms, both yelled in unison, his eyes widening to massive proportions when both of their palms collided with each other, their hands moving with astounding speed and stunning accuracy. Impossible, her strikes are as strong as mine. How can a clone be that strong? He thought, gritting his teeth as they watched each other with the world slowing down around them, their bodies moving in slow motion as their eyes came in contact with each other. Those eyes, I hate those determined eyes. Why? How can she be so strong? It was in her destiny to be a failure, and then suddenly, this second level unlocks, which she hasn't even used once. Hanada, dot how are you defying all these odds, could it really be the work of that Uzumaki? He thought as they gazed into each other's eyes, as if piercing each other's soul, doubts now filling his mind. Nisan, I'm gonna show you the power of a failure. I will change you, I will prove to you that destiny can be changed, she thought with determination overflowing her as they continued their strikes. Four palms, came their combined shout, their movements extremely fast to the untrained eyes of the crowd as they watched in fascination at how fast they were executing the famous technique of the Hyuga clan, their hands which were flaring blue were a blur to them as dust started to pick up around their blurry forms. Eight palms, sixteen palms, thirty-two palms, their palms and two index fingers colliding accurately, cancelling each other's chakra-enhanced strikes as they began the final set, both of their speeds increasing, giving it all in the final strikes. How is this possible? Her strikes, they are so accurate and are matching me in strength and speed, what the fuck is happening here? Thought Hayuga Neji, probably cursing for the first time in his life. 64 palms. This time only he yelled as he went for the final strike before Hanada caught with her right hand, his eyebrows lifting in immense astonishment over such feet. She caught it. He thought as he tried to shake his hand out of her grip but found that he couldn't. Dot her grip was as strong as iron while her eyes were shadowed. W what the? He stuttered as he continued to try forcing his hand out while the people watched in silence, not blinking their eyes for they would miss the blazing action that was going on down there. It's not over yet Nisan, it's not over, said Hinata as she lifted her head, his breathing hitching in his throat as he gazed into her second level activated by a Kugan, which was now somewhat glowing, reflecting the sunlight, looking like a lavender blue jewel. Her eyes, dot two petals. What does it mean? He thought before he saw the injured Hinata smiling at him while waving as she wiped off her blood. Bye bye, dot you fell for it. She chirped while smiling before puffing into smoke making his eyes further bug out anime style. It can't be, he thought with an expression of impossibility as he gazed back at the smirking Hinata in front of him. Why you were the real one all along, he exclaimed while she smiled sweetly at him sending chills down his spine as he again tried to get out of her grip by using his other hand to strike, which she caught too, much easily this time than before, that damned smirk all the while remaining on her face. Beads of sweat rolled down his face as invisible shockwaves excluded from her, resultant of her increasing chakra picking up dust on its way as he continuously tried to get out her grip. Toyotama Bayakugan, luminous jewel all-seeing eye, she whispered looking him dead in the eye, her eyes cold with her smirk deadly. She's building massive amounts of chakra, she never had that much chakra, is it because of her second level? He thought as anxiety rose in him, fear arising within him for something that she was preparing to do. Your technique is finished, dot but mine still hasn't, she whispered channeling chakra through both of her palms in which Neji's wrists were caught. Pushing his hands aside with unnatural force, she moved her chakra-coated palms at mind-blundering speeds and began to strike him fiercely. Chakra expelling through her strikes as Neji couldn't do anything under the barrage of unnaturally fast strikes which were much faster and lethal than before. Whoa! Look at her go! Her speed, it's mind-buggling, said one civilian to which Kashina heard, making her smirk. I accept that Hinata-chan's speed is impressive for her age, dot but if you're impressed by that, then just wait for Naru Koi, she thought as she gazed at him standing there all calm and collected as he smiled upon seeing Hinata literally beat Neji into the ground. No way, dot she learned that technique too, dot but I only taught her 64 palms, thought Hiyashi with a stunned expression, matching the expressions of thousands of people there. Kami, 
thought Hiruzen with widened eyes while the case cage too was watching the match with bugged eyes. That girl, such mastery of those techniques at such young age, we'll see how she matches up against Sasuke kun, Kukukuku, he thought with an evil grin behind the white cloth. 200 strikes, 0.218, strikes, 0.227 strikes, 0.245 strikes, 0.254 strikes, she mentally counted. Ha k h y a k u n i j u u h a c h i s h o u. Eight divination signs. 128 palms of the hand, she yelled after delivering the final devastating blow to his gut, making him fly back at blundering speeds before he skidded to a halt, coughing up blood due to most of his chakra points being blocked, and as he just laid there, gritting his teeth while staring up in the sky. No, this can't be, he thought with anger in his eyes as he again coughed up blood. Meanwhile the crowd, even the proctor had his mouth wide open, his dear Sanban licking the dirt. Holy shit! Thought everyone watching the match there except one. What a drag, Hanada-chan, I, that was just amazing. Thought Naruto with a surprised expression on his face, he too like Hiyashi had no idea that she was this skilled, not only physically but also strategically for the way she skillfully used the shadow clones. Yeah. He was the one who taught her the shadow clone technique considering that after the upgradation of her Toyotama Byakugan to two petals, her chakra reserves had increased combined with the training Hiyashi and he had put her through, it was easy for her. Hanada, your mother would be proud of you today, my daughter, thought Hiyashi with a smile before he looked at Neji with sadness in his eyes. Guess it's time for him to know what really happened with his father all those years ago. Hum, that girl's strong, but not strong enough. Just like the past few centuries, I don't think I'm gonna find anyone worthy here, said a cloaked stranger and judging from her feminine voice, she was young, probably of the age of Kashina while strands of white hair could be seen from the overhead cloak of her as she could be seen standing on one of the stand roofs of the stadium, her face hidden by the cloak. Phew, that girl's got some serious talent, whistled in appreciation, May nodding with him before he felt someone glare at him. You wouldn't happen to plot a kidnapping scheme. Dot now would you rakage dono, said Hiruzen in his threatening voice with Shinigami hovering over his head making a gulp nervously. Oh of course not Hokage dono, dot the thought never even crossed my mind, he said before Serutobi nodded with the usual kind smile on his face as he turned back to see the match. Geez, you'd think that the old geezer would trust me a little more, thought the Yandaimi rakage with a sweat drop before his eyes widened when he saw the Hayuga kid getting up a lot slowly with trembling knees as he repeatedly coughed blood, holding his gut while desperately trying to stand up. I, I, will end not, I'll lose to you, he said as he slowly stood up, now on his feet, his one arm hanging by his side while the other was holding his stomach. His breathing was ragged and came in pants, bruises all over his body as now his upper torso was completely torn off showing off the purple spots of the Jukan strikes all over his body. Meanwhile Hanada's eyes softened as she stared at his condition, it hurt, like a ton of bricks to ruthlessly beat him like that, but she already had that talk with Naruto. It tore her inside to hurt Neji like that, dot but he needed it to see the truth, to change his views and life for the better. Nisan, dot you can't even stand properly now, please give up and rest, your injuries are too serious to be left alone said Hinata with a calm expression as few tears involuntarily escaped her eyes while Neji just glared at her. Neji, those eyes, it's just the same as me, wanting to prove yourself, dot but that's enough my friend, though Lee, sadness in his eyes as clenched his fists. I, I don't, and need your pee pity, he spat while dragging his feet towards her, his Byakugan now deactivated while his vision was blurry as he still continued to trudge forwards, occasionally coughing blood. I, W will prove, T that the B branch, he trailed as he began to fall forward, his Hidai 8 falling off his head to reveal the caged bird seal on his forehead which was soon going to touch the dirt. Please, dot let it go Nisan, said Hinata after appearing out of a blur and catching his falling form, hugging him to her tightly as tears streamed down her face. She couldn't control it, to see her precious ones in such condition always hurt her. She could train her body and mind to be strong but one couldn't train his, her own heart. H how can I let it go, I ha have no one, dot who d do I be blame it on, destiny, he muttered as he again coughed up some blood while Hanata hugged him tighter to her whereas Genma just watched the scene, not daring to interrupt it. Nisan, 
Please listen to me. Destiny can be carved just like a kanai. It wouldn't matter how hard the kanai is. Dot and you have me, Hanabi. Otou san. We would never leave you, she said while rubbing his back, whereas few tears streamed down Neji's face as he heard her. I, I don't know what to do, H. Hanada. I'm confused. I don't know. W. What I is my p purpose here? H. How can you forgive me so easily? Dot for how I tray. Dot Ted, you all tea the times, he said, droplets of warm liquid falling on the dry dirt before his eyes rolled back in his head due to extreme exhaustion and his injuries, his body falling limp against her while she supported his weight. Wiping her tears, she spoke softly to herself. Because, to forgive someone, T that's something Naruto kun taught me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as checking out the author on fanfiction.net.